Hello friends, welcome to this session. In today's session, we will see how you can connect to AWS EC2 instance using EC2 instance connect. With EC2 instance connect, you actually use AWS IAM policies and principles to control SSH access to your instances. And it also removes the need to share and manage SSH keys. You do not need to create key pairs and you can audit each connection which happens to EC2 instance using CloudTrail. This is a diagram which we'll try to achieve today. We'll have Windows laptop and I will create a AWS EC2 instance. Mainly EC2 instance connect is supported on Amazon Linux 2 or Ubuntu 16.04 or later images. So we'll install EC2 instance connect CLI on laptop where Ubuntu on WSL2 is running. I am assuming that you would have installed Docker desktop on WSL2 and Ubuntu setup already. So I will show how to install EC2 instance connect CLI and using this CLI we will try to connect to AWS EC2 instance. Once we have created our IAM user and configured the access keys and secret on Windows then we just need to initiate the connection using this command mssh and the instance ID. What it will do behind the scene is it will generate a public key and it will push to EC2 instance and that particular SSH public key will be available on this box for 60 seconds after that it will be destroyed. So within 60 seconds EC2 instance connect CLI will initiate connection using private key and establish the session. As long as the session is active you can access EC2. Once the session is closed to access EC2 instance again the same CLI has to push another SSH public key to initiate the connection. This way you don't need to worry about creating and maintaining those SSH keys. EC2 instance connect CLI will take care of it. So let's get started and see how this works. So log into AWS console, go to instances and click launch instances. Give it a name for AMI. Amazon Linux and Ubuntu have EC2 instance connect pre-installed. So we will select any of these, I will select this free tier Amazon Linux 2 image. Instance type, I will leave it minimum. And key pair, I will select without a key pair. And then you can select your network, subnet, security group. For that, I will allow SSH connections only from my laptop IP. And rest you can configure and launch the instance. It will take a couple of minutes to start the instance. I will connect soon. I believe instance must be up now so we'll click here and it is still initializing so we'll wait for another minute or so we'll refresh this and see whether it has initialized so it's all up and running now and you can see it has public IP private IP just to let you know for this demo I am using EC2 instance with public IP but if your instance doesn't have public IP then also you can connect using EC2 instance connect CLI only thing is you have to use either AWS Direct or Transit Gateway or VPC peering depending on from where you are connecting. You can get details through documentation. They have defined how to do that. But for this demo, I am showing this EC2 instance with public IP. And if you scroll down, you can see there is no key pair assigned for this instance. Now let's go to AWS IAM and we'll create a user and assign some policies to that user which will allow that user to connect to this EC2. So I'll copy the instance ID, it will be needed later. We'll go to AWS IAM. Under users, I have already created a user Ravi blog. And under permissions, I have given this policy, which allows EC2 instance connect to send SSH public key. And this is the instance which we want to connect to. and it also checks that the user which is trying to connect to this instance should exist. So here it says EC2 OS user, if it matches with EC2 minus user, then only it will allow the connection, otherwise it will not. EC2 minus user is a default user for Amazon Linux 2 images. So I'm trying to use that. And also it allows to describe all the instances. So this is the permission given to this particular user Ravi blog. Then I will generate security credentials. I will create access key and secret for it, which we'll configure in Ubuntu on the client side to initiate the connection. So I have already created the access keys and configured in Ubuntu. 
and we'll see how we can initiate the connection now. So we need to install EC2 instance connect CLI before we initiate the connection. We'll go to this document here. If you scroll up, the document is set up EC2 instance connect. You can follow the steps here. And the task three actually provides this instructions to install. We'll go to Ubuntu, run this, and it is installed now. Also, I've already configured the access keys and the secret for the user. So we can now initiate connection using mssh command and the instance ID. So instance ID here, this is the EC2 instance. So you see, it is asking, are you sure you want to connect? And you'll say yes. And you can see here, it is connected to 54.79. And this is the same IP, public IP for our EC2 instance. And now from my laptop, Ubuntu running on WSL2, I am right now connected to EC2 instance. So you can also see all the users here. And here you can see by default EC2 minus user is part of this image and that's why I was able to connect to this instance. Now as you saw any user who is in AWS IAM can connect to this instance that user should exist on this EC2 instance also. Now right now only EC2 minus user is available. Now let's say you have a team members who wants to connect to this EC2 instance then for each user you have to create a user on this OS here and then in the IAM policy you can match that username to allow connection. So let's see I will create a new user here by name test user. The only thing you have to take care is that this user which you create here should not have a password. If this user asks for a password then EC2 instance connect will not work. So if you create the user like this then it will not require a password and now if you see the list for users you can see a test user is also created here now this test user can now be created in AWS IAM and he can be given a permission to connect to this EC2 instance let's see how so we'll exit from here and we'll go back to AWS IAM I've already created IAM user test user and let's see the permissions for him. All the permissions remain same, send SS public key to this particular instance. Only the OS user now will try to match the test user. If it doesn't, then this user cannot connect. So now we have already set up and then you generate security credentials for this user. We'll create one now. and we'll configure in Ubuntu. So that will be equivalent to that user configuring his client. Now, the setup is ready. So this user will try to now connect to this instance. and the instance ID is see so this user is now able to log in and he is in his home directory so he's able to log in now and he can do different things on this instance now we will see quickly how you can audit all these connections happening so you go to AWS CloudTrail event history and you can see here Ravi blog tried to connect Ravi blog send SSH public key test user send SSH public key so this way you can actually audit uh, which users have accessed this EC2 instance so overall you see using EC2 instance connect CLI is quite safe and beneficial no maintenance of key pairs or SSH keys 
and you can audit them through CloudTrail. I hope this session have helped you to understand this feature and you can implement it very easily. Thank you so much for watching this. We'll see you in next one.